we're going to go over today's homework assignment. And in general, how to construct the graph when they give you these simple directions. So let's go ahead and read them first and do them one by one. Construct a y-axis that passes through the point y and z. So one thing that I'm aware of is I'm aware that the y-axis goes up and down. So I'm going to look for points Y and Z, and I'm going to draw a straight line down. So let's look for Y. Oh, I see Y right here, and I see Z right here. So what I'm going to do from here all the way up, I'm going to draw my Y axis. You know what? Let's do it in a different color because that black doesn't really show. So from here all the way up, this is... I'm even going to do it a little bit longer. This is our y-axis. And it's always good to label your axes. So I'm going to write here, y-axis. I'm going to just drag it a little bit so you guys can actually see that. Now let's go back and see what the next directions were. Construct a perpendicular x-axis that passes through the points z and x. So let's go back to our graph. We already know where Z is. Z is right here, and X is right here. And I know that X axis is a horizontal line. So I'm gonna draw a line from here all the way through. And like I said earlier, it's always good to label your axes. So I'm gonna label the X axis right here. So now we need to figure out what our origin is. Well, one thing we always know is that wherever the y-axis and the x-axis meet, that is going to be our y, our origin. So let's go ahead and see where it intersects. And we actually see it intersects at point z. So let's go ahead and put a little circle here. So we know that is our origin. And just to remind ourselves, we know that the origin has an ordered pair of zero, zero. I'm going to put that right here. So now we know where our origin is. Number D, the Y coordinate of Y is three and one fifth. Label the whole numbers on the Y axis. Okay, so let's look for point Y. So this point Y, they said the Y coordinate is three and, three and one fifth. So let's go ahead and just write our ordered paired for Y. So we know that the X coordinate is zero. And they told us that the Y coordinate is three and one fifth. So let's go ahead and write that so we're aware what that point is. So let's first now try to figure out how many boxes there are from our origin to Y. And then we could try to start to figure out what is our interval. So let's see, one, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So there's 16 boxes. So let's go ahead real quick and draw a ratio table. We know that for 16 boxes, At the 16th box, the value is 3 and 1 fifth. Or we could say that is 16 over 5. Our goal is try to figure out the value of one box. So just think about this as a ratio table. What you do to one side, you're going to want to do to the other, right? So here, I want to divide by 16, and what you do to one side, you do to the other, and 16 divided by 16 is one. So I'm gonna divide by 16 on this side, and I'm gonna get one fifth. So I know one box is one fifth. Now let's go back to our line right here. So that lets me know that this value right here is one fifth. So one fifth, two fifth, three fifths, four fifths, one whole, one fifth, 
two fifths, three fifths, four fifths, one whole, one fifth, two fifths, three fifths, four fifths, one whole, and three and one fifth, which they told us which was the y coordinate for y. So we did the, our y axis perfectly. And let me just draw a little line. So you know exactly where these whole numbers are. So one is right here, two is right here, and three is right here. So now let's do our x axis. They tell us for the x axis, coordinate for x is three and two fifths. Label the whole numbers along the x axis. So for x, they're telling us the Ordered pair is going to be 3 and 2 fifths comma 0 because the y coordinate is 0. And you can see that if you draw your straight line towards the y axis, it is going to hit the y coordinate of 0. So the beauty of this is we already know our interval is 1 fifth. We do not need to calculate that again. Now all we really have to do is label our whole numbers again. So 1 fifth, 2 fifths. 3 fifths, 4 fifths, 1, 1 fifth, 2 fifths, 3 fifths, 4 fifths, 2, 1 fifth, 2 fifths, 3 fifths, 4 fifths, 5 fifths, so 3, then 1 fifth, then 2 fifths, showing us that we did it correct once again. Let me just draw the line so you know where these whole numbers are. And there we go. Now we're able to find the ordered pair of any of these points. And I'll do a quick example so you can see. So let me use the color green. And I'm just going to use a simple one and use um, point U right here. So our X coordinate, then we go down. Well, we even though there's no number here, we do know our interval is 1 fifth. So 1 fifth, 2 fifth, 3 fifths. So our X coordinate is 3 fifths. And then we can do the same thing for the y coordinate. One fifth, two fifths, three fifths. So the order pair for your point U is actually three fifths, comma, three fifths.